Um, well, a actual results for an experiment would be neutral. No, no, I didn't. That's not an answer to my question. I said, are all, observation, are all observations theory laden? No. Okay, that is a false statement you made. That is 101 <laughs> oh philosophy. That is, that is what, see, you're spouting off like you understand science. This is 101. This is what you will learn in week one in a 101 class in the philosophy of science. There are no neutral or objective observations. Everybody uh, approaches empirical endeavors and physical phenomenon through a network of beliefs about the nature of, of reality. So an observation is not merely just simply sensory input. You have sensory input followed by a cognitive processing that we call an observation. So in the philosophy of science, all empirical observations are inherently theory-laden given one's web of belief. So when you appeal to the interpretation of quantum entanglement, that observation is actually a theory-laden interpretation. Okay? Now, do you want to deny that? Yeah. I don't think there's any fairly data you wanna, when I when I titrate something and I get a centimeter cubed value of twenty five. You're not, under, you're not understanding. Yeah, I don't think there's any yeah. fairly data there. You're not understand either. You're understanding what I'm saying and you're evading it, or you're truly not understanding it. I mean, you cannot. You cannot. You cannot evade the basic concept in the philosophy of science that observations are inher inherently theory laden. In other words, when you have sensory data, right, coming to your eyes and your ears, you are going to, that sensory data will be cognitively filtered. Do you accept that? Not in all cases. Oh, expl explain to me how sensory data is not cognitively filtered. It's not, if I take a tighter and I got 20 centimeters cubed, there is no cognitive you're, you're, processing that would. Wow. Uh, you know what? I'm dumbfounded right now that you don't, you I don't, mean, you don't, you don't, you don't realize <laughs> you're not, you see, you don't even have a basic understanding of the philosophy of science because the you have a whole set of beliefs in order to make that, in order to make that statement, you have to believe when when the, when those ex, when you have those experiences that we call sense data you first have to have a belief that there are causal relations between events okay right. you understand can that I, can I ask a question now uh, can you please wait can you please wait cuz i'm getting to the point cuz i want to demonstrate here that nothing's dread correct know what nothing about. can be proved then can you dread i want to ask you a question when you, you talked belief? about the empirical endeavor that you just presented must you first believe, following those events, that there are causal relations between events? All right, Tim, I need you to sort of tag in here for you, a second. Do you, have, I, do you have an answer to my question, Dredd? Uh, sorry if it was... Must you, okay. believe, must you believe that there are causal relations and connections between events? Mm -hmm. follow, follow, excuse me. Must you have a be belief, cognitive that there are causal connections and relations between events uh, following uh, the chronology of the events in question. Not in every right. case in science you do experiments to determine. No, no, it's not, no, 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 that's not, you see, you're evading my question. No, Must you not. believe that there are causal relations at all? Uh, in most cases. Right, so you have a belief that functions as a cognitive filter due to the chronology of the events that transpired that you referenced in measuring. So you have, you have a belief that there are causal relations. You cannot demonstrate that there are causal relations empirically because you would have to presuppose there are causal relations in order to invoke things like sense perception. Now, when you talk about an observation, would you also have to presuppose that nature operates in some regular ways as a belief, as a part of a cognitive filter, when you talk about sense data? Would you have to believe that the universe works in a constant way? Was that the question? I'd like an answer to my question. Must you believe I'm, in nature? He wants in, his in, answer. In, in, order to ha in order to speak yeah, forth an observation, 
don't you have to have a belief in order to have and give an observation that nature operates in some law-like ways? All right. Um, can I ask a question here? Because obviously, okay, uh, I'm speaking, waiting for his answer. He's sir. not going to answer, and I'm going to my question. Do you have an Do you have an answer to that question, I Wait, I do have an answer to his question. If you well, like. I'm not. I, well, you can wait your turn. Hey, I'm speaking hold, on, hold on, hold on, Dred, Do you have an answer you, to that question? If you want to, if you want to say who can and can't talk, you got to do that in your room. Viv, go ahead. Yeah. Man, if you got to so I'm just, just waiting there. for him to answer. So Dred so is tapping out. He's not going to answer your pointless question. The point that I'm going to ask you, Darth. It wasn't point. Are you? It is a pointless question. Are you a Bible literalist? Yes, I am. Okay, so do you want to explain to me the science behind the the flood? Because as no, I don't, I don't, I don't have to do that because okay, science. cool. So basically, okay, uh, there would be enough. Hold on, hold on. Uh, you want to have a conversation here? Uh, he didn't want to explain, so I was going to. Explain I'd like, to I'd again. like to respond instead of you running roughshod over me. Now you ask me if I'm a Bible literist. Okay, can you please tell me basically what your worldview is? Okay, that's irrelevant, and my worldview is orthogonal. No, it is relevant because you just it asked me my worldview. I'm asking it's you irrelevant. your worldview. It's orthogonal. It, it's relevant to me. I'd like to know the worldview that you're speaking from because None meaningfulness yet. and intelligence. Yes. Really Talk about you instead of you trying to tear them your apart. Model so, no, no, no. I would like to know so, no. what you it's are. Nanya. You are you not Nanya. a biblical literalist? Literal. It's Nanya. Okay. Are it's you Nanya. not a biblical literalist? It's Nanya. I'm, I'm waiting for an answer. I just told you, it's none of you. I don't know what that is. It's none of your business. None of your business. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, so then, anyway, as I was then, saying before you kept interrupting the problem, me. Because therefore, so, no, any concept that you put forth won't have a foundation for meaningfulness. That's bullshit. Okay, so let's look about well, this. Can, so can, can a predication be meaningful from a vacuum? That's irrelevant. Okay, that's that's a non-argument. Yeah, so, anyway, yeah, no, that it is. Saying it's irrelevant is simply a childish way of going la 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 now okay that's nice if, that's what if, you're doing right now if you're if you make any assertion to me you will be making an assertion from your model of reality it's inescapable okay that's because fine you're, then you're not going to be making an assertion from a worldview that you can believe that doesn't exist so, so if you if the moment the next oh, assertion God. you make stop filibustering the next assertion you make I'm going to have to ask you what model of reality provides for it. All right. So basically, this is going to be an open. I'm going to reply to the room since you obviously don't want to fucking reply to me. So basically, during the since he's a Bible literalist, okay, the, based on the understanding of what we know of the Earth's atmosphere, there would not have been enough water for the fucking flood to have occurred. And had there been, a, a, and given the sort of conditions, the oxygen would have been so rich that a single spark would have ignited the atmosphere. So if there was a storm, basically, it would have set the whole world on fire. So that basically I mean, well, his entire sort of argument. If he's a Bible lit, I, I wasn't done talking. Don't interrupt me. So basically, what that means, yeah, is the flood did not happen. So that disproves the flood. And he just said he's a Bible literalist. So basically, what we can now turn around and say is Darth Dawkins was wrong. He refuses to admit so. And basically, I have just BTFO'd him. Sit down, Darth. <laughs> okay. Wow. Are, you, are, you appealing, are you appealing to the laws of nature as a falsifier to the Noahic flood? I mean, I'm a. <laughs> uh, I, listen, Darth, don't go down this rabbit hole. Are you saying, based on the current. Did you just standards? appeal to science? Did you just appeal to God? Oh, Did wow. you appeal that science <laughs> falsifies the Noah account of the flood? I did. Okay. Does science require that nature operate in some law like ways? I mean, for the flood to happen, it needs to have enough water for it to happen. And so science, that there wasn't does enough science water. Science require that's that not there an be argument. laws of nature. Darth, answer my question. Stop dodging. Okay. See what I'm you're having here. Darth is being incredibly juvenile. He won't answer my question. He keeps dodging and evading, and it shows that he's actually you being said trolled. Science right? falsifies just, the Bible. Listen. It falsifies the Noah's flood. Now, See, does science require laws of nature? Okay, see, Darth doesn't actually reply to my point. The point which turned around and said that there wasn't enough water. No, I want to see if your worldview. You know, world I want to see if your worldview has a basis for science. Is there a basis for science? You just crushed on a Christian. Holy shit! Basically, I just okay. bullied Darth right now. How? Everyone how? Okay. Witness. How? How Darth is science? Now having a breakdown. How is science? <laughs> <laughs> you can't answer my point. Does science, Have you does noticed science it? Like, require that law, laws of nature? Darth, Darth, explain to me how the flood happened if there wasn't enough water on the earth for the flood to happen. Okay. Explain that to me. Um, 
given given that the God of the Bible is My omniscient trick. and um, omnipotent, and the God the ass, is the what. basis of all possibility, <laughs> okay? and God, since the Bible teaches that God upholds all things by the power of His will. The only reason why anything can be or cannot be is in virtue of the will of God. So the fact that there would be enough water is simply in virtue of God's absolute omnipotence and sovereignty. Okay, now, since so you don't accept that, okay, I'm not done is. yet. I'm not oh, done God. yet. So then stop pausing. you feel that science falsifies the biblical account, what I'd like to know is if science is a viable concept outside of the biblical worldview. Okay, now, so basically, but I'm not oh done yet. Fucking God, then I'm not done yet. Stop talking I'm not done yet. Person. I'm not this done is, yet. This is hilarious. Now, what I'd like to know from you, does science as a viable concept require that nature operate in law-like ways? Okay, so basically what you're saying here is the laws of physics and the law, natural laws of this world, God, they don't apply to God, right? So the laws okay, of the... I, so I asked you a question. Matter. I know, but I don't need to answer that question because it's an irrelevant question. Well, you do need the, you no, do need the answer to the question because in the absence of answering the question, then you will be invoking the viability of science without basis. Am I some kind of slave dog that I have to answer your questions or something? Am I you don't have to answer it, but then you would be... You then you would be making an arbitrary claim about the viability of science. Arbitrary. Is your advocacy of science arbitrary or not arbitrary? Is your advocacy of God arbitrary or not arbitrary? Uh, no, it's non-arbitrary. Would arbitrary? you answer my question, please? Why is it not arbitrary? Okay, why? Because God has given self-disclosure of himself. Now, I've answered two of your questions. Now, does science require that nature operate in law-like ways? Does science because require that nature operate in law like Duh. ways? Duh. Hold on. Dude, you're beating so, a dead horse. And who's saying that? Because like I can't see Does the science require in the chat. that it work in law like ways. Okay. Doth. This is the point that I'm trying to make to you. Okay. So basically what you're saying here is God has gone against the laws of physics. He's created water out what, of nothing. What, okay. What, he is what he laws is of then, physics. What laws of physics? Laws, so wait, are you now saying the laws of physics don't exist? No, I'm asking, asking you. I'm asking you in your worldview: Are there laws of physics? Whatever this, listen. Whatever the scientific community agrees, the, the laws of physics. Okay, to be I'm based asking on a you. Understanding of science. Do you believe that there are laws of physics? My view on this is irrelevant. No, you, it is no. It is relevant because you said that science mitigates against the genesis. I just explained. Now, I just explained now, to you. Okay. Does science require laws of physics? Listen, okay, I'm telling you that it doesn't fucking, it doesn't matter. Does Mind science require irrelevant. laws of I'm physics? I'm this question. So you Why? can't defend what the nature of science is then? No, because you're asking me for anecdotal evidence about can my you, own personal subjective me, opinion. Can you tell me what, what the nature of science is? Why is my, no, why is my subjective opinion about what science is relevant here? Well, so are you giving? Are you using your subjective opinion to falsify the biblical narrative? No, it's not my opinion. It's other opinions of other scientific experts. Okay, it's not so, my opinion. So, I'm merely so, regurgitating. So it's the collective. Opinion. So it's the collective opinion of scientists. Now, do they rely on their belief? I don't know. I don't nature? speak for them. Okay. Now, do the do the laws of physics mitigate and contradict the Genesis account? According to this, yes. Okay. Now, are there laws of physics? I don't know. I'm not a physicist. So you say I don't know contradicts the Genesis account? Are you a biblical scholar? Okay. So in other are words, you you're scholar? saying that I don't know Listen, falsifies if you're use... the Bible. That's Listen. what you just said. No, I'm saying that scientific inference based by other more educated individuals okay. blows your argument out of the water. So because they're educated. I just explained, I was what, are talking, they educated? what are they educated? What are they knowledgeable don't about? Me. Don't over talk me. Don't over talk me. I'm still talking. What I was saying, I'm going to talk really slowly so you can understand me because I feel that you're not getting on, the point man, that I'm on. trying to make to you. So basically, Darth, what I'm trying to say to you is other more experienced experts have said that there was not enough water in the earth for this to have occurred based on our understanding of what has happened throughout the time period. Under, they, understanding I'm still of talking. what? I'm still talking. Why are you interrupting me? Like you cry about people interrupting well, you, but you don't. Because you're repeating on, just, yourself what you said a few minutes ago. I'm all about him interrupting you. Just get to the point. Okay. Stop. 
All right, so the point that I'm trying to make to you is they have ascertained and proven that there wasn't enough water for it to happen. And had there been enough water, the oxygen in the environment would have been so rich, it would have ignited it had there been a single spark, which during the time of this storm, there was a thunderstorm that would have ignited the atmosphere. Yet, as we know, the world did not explode, the sky was not on fire, therefore it could not have happened. Unless you're saying that there was an event which would have burned up the entire ozone layer, killing all life on Earth, suddenly occurring. Now, are you saying that happened? Are you saying that there was an extinction level event is that the claim that you're making now what i'm not understanding is are you saying that the laws of physics contradict the genesis account what no i uh, just stop you're you talking around me and you're being really disingenuous answer my question darth if there was an extinction level event here why is it not in the bible because the god unless god came in and directly interfered which he's not supposed to do as far as I'm aware. He's not supposed, um, aside from his few interventions that he's made, he's not going to come out and since, save us all. Since, um, to answer to your question, since God is sovereign and omnipotent and all occurrences are in the power of God, he upholds all things by the power of his will, God can fl flood the earth uh, any way he, way he sees from? fit. Now, what I'm asking you is since you do not accept the Genesis account, you're appealing to the laws of physics to show that the laws of physics contradict the Genesis account. What I'd like to know from you is, are you referring to the laws of physics, uh, the uniformity of nature that was instituted by God, or are you referring that there are laws of physics without God? My fucking God, this is irrelevant. No, you invoke the laws of physics. No, that, that's irrelevant. My viewpoint is so, irrelevant. Okay, okay. you keep so, denying my point. Are you using the laws of physics as a defeater? Why is it? Why is the laws of physics irrelevant? Irrelevant factor when I'm explaining why you why it using the happen? law of physics as a defeater? Are you using an appeal to authority as a defeater? I'm waiting for an answer to my question. You're using. You're trying to use an appeal to authority. You're just full of. Are you using so, the laws of physics? Darth, as I can a do defeater? this all day. I can do this all day, Darth. Is that, a, is that a, not a fair question? No, because you're being disingenuous. You're asking a completely irrelevant okay. question. Okay. No, it is relevant because you, relevant. Lo you indirectly nope. invoke laws of nature. Nope. It doesn't matter so, where so, they come so from. You, so, you didn't, so you did not appeal. That's not what I'm saying. At, nope. In any way, you, so let me ask you this. So you did not appeal either directly or indirectly to physics? It's an irrelevant point right now. You keep dodging my point. Uh, you didn't. You didn't appeal. Stop dodging, to Physics. Stop dodging. I mean, does everybody see what's going on here? Every time yeah, I ask a simple question, question, we get yeah. you're dodging this question based. by trying to go off on a bunny trail like you always do. It doesn't matter yeah. what you're. How is how is me going off on a bunny it. trail? I'm talking when I'm, I'm talking. asking about his I'm invocation talking. of physics. It doesn't matter where physics it comes does. from. It no, doesn't. he asserted physics. It, I want to know if physics is viable in his worldview. It's irrelevant if it's viable in my view. It's Bagel, is it your understanding? Your Bagel, is it your understanding that he did or did not invoke in any way physics? It doesn't it, matter. It, it doesn't matter if he did. Okay, so see, what this is what we've come to the point now where you guys don't actually want to have a conversation. So no matter what question that I raise about any assertion you make, the response that you give is that's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. Because so the is point is, we can't we can't possibly have a conversation or a debate when every time I ask you a question specifically about something you asserted, and the retort is that's irrelevant. Okay, this is Darth. a complete right. invasive tactic. Right, I'm going to go next. Okay, so One Darth, second. Let me and, I, and, I've, and I've done my job. You, you're just trolling now. Thank you for your no, time. No, I'm not. I think the issue here, guys, is so you know. Darth, you were yeah. trying to basically inquire about their worldview, and you were kind he of left. sort of quizzing them, so to speak. Not exactly quizzing, but you know, you know what I mean. 